you know, working with her and her vision, it was really the reason why I felt that she was the right person because she had the vision that I believe would make the best movie. Hi, Devon. Hi, how are you? I'm doing fine in you. Good, thank you. Thank you so much for your time. A pleasure to meet you too. Of course. <laughs> love, love some of your or movies that you already produce, working on. Thank Miracles you. from Heaven, The yeah. Stars, and Love Them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so now we are talking it. about Flaming Heart. Yes. And how how uh, how much did you know? Did you knew about Richard's story before coming on board? You know, I didn't know much. You know, I met Richard almost seven years ago. And, uh, you know, in that meeting, I just said, tell me your story. And he started telling me his story. And as he was walking me through all of the things that he did and all the things he endured, I just said, whoa, this is amazing. And by the end of the meeting, I just told him that I was going to tell his movie story if he would give me the opportunity. And I'm thankful that he did because his story is so inspirational, so motivational. And I just felt like in that meeting, this story is motivating me. And I believe if it's going to motivate me. It'll motivate others. Oh, yeah, that's that's for sure. It's like an American his American dream story. And, yes. And yes, it is. It's amazing. And to find the perfect director, Eva Longoria, how 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 did that happen? <laughs> Uh, you know, it was truly just me committing to the process. You know, I, I always believe that when I'm making a movie, if I commit to the process, that the director will eventually appear. And so on this particular film, I sent it out to about 20 directors. I took 12 director meetings and Eva was one of those uh, director meetings that I took. And when I sat down with her, you know, she just started talking about the movie uh, in multiple ways. You know, she has a degree in Chicano studies. And so she talked about it from that vantage point. She talked about her own personal experience. She talked about, you know, stereotypes that have persisted in, uh, you know, films in Hollywood as it relates to the Latino experience and how she wanted to change that. And she talked about the colors, the tone, you know, all of the things. She just had this vision. And I just said at the end of that meeting, I said, you know, she's our director. You know, and I knew it. I just said, you're the director. I knew it and uh, was able to take her into Searchlight and the studio, Searchlight Studios, and they hired uh, her. And uh, and then we started the process of redeveloping the script and brought on Yvette, Lin Linda Yvette Chavez. And that was ultimately the work that got the, the movie greenlit. So, you know, working with her and her vision, it was really the reason why I felt that she was the right person because she had the vision that I believe would make the best movie. Yeah, And producing this movie, what was your biggest challenge? The biggest challenge in producing the movie is one, having patience uh, to get it made. I mean, as I mentioned, I've been working on it for almost seven years yeah. and uh, that took a lot of patience and a lot of uh, perseverance. Uh, but in terms of the production, the hardest thing was the factory. You know, we had to recreate a Frito-Lay factory that had functional machines with real products. And that was the hardest thing. It took the most money out of our budget to do it. We had all of our department heads, you know, coming together to figure out how to execute it. And thankfully we succeeded, but that was difficult. There were some days I just wasn't sure what we were going to do because all of the things that we were trying to do to make it work weren't working, but eventually we got there. Yeah. And it wasn't a, it's not a factory nowadays. It's a factory from the past yeah. as well. Right. So there's yeah, a little bit, bit different. And I think you guys got it right. And it's amazing. Also, you have Jesse, Emilio any all these amazing actors playing the this amazing latino story but yeah. my question is how important for you to produce movies like this that represent latinos represent the the african-american community what is the, the importance for you the importance for me is is you know one first and foremost i like to tell stories and movies that i respond to you know i like to make movies of those stories that i feel motivate me inspire me and then, you know, when it comes to Hollywood, Hollywood is still a place that is not as inclusive when it comes to race, uh, specifically, you know, black and brown filmmakers and black and brown stories. And so for me, you know, I, I wanted to tell this story, one, because I connected to it. But two, you know, I feel like it's time for Hollywood to step up and to, you know, make more films, uh, you know, for the black audience, for the Latino audience. Uh, and really empower, you know, um, diverse executives, producers, writers, directors, because I think there's too much going on right now where the industry does it when it's politically correct. Um, but in terms of doing business, there's still a long way 
that I believe the business needs to go. And maybe, you know, a movie and the success of a movie like Flaming Hot could uh, change things in a positive way. Amazing. Devon, I just want to thank you so much for your time. A lot well, of success and keep bringing those amazing stories and find that Brazilian one. I'm from Brazil and we're <laughs> okay. waiting for a Brazilian story to come okay. to play. Right. <laughs> you got it. Amazing. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. If you like this video, don't forget to comment, to like, and subscribe to our channel right here.